Music Milkshake with Emily. <laughs> Hi everybody, today we are making some banjos out of things that you can find around your house. You'll need a box, a paper towel roll, some scissors, an exacto knife, but make sure you have help from a parent, a glue stick or glue gun, tape, paint, rubber bands, and some circle shaped objects from around your house. All right, before we go and make our homemade banjos, why don't we listen to one of my friends who has a real banjo and can tell us all about it. Banjo? Yeah, oh. this is a banjo, nice oh. job. So this is made of wood, but it also has a drum head on it. So sometimes when my friends are playing, I can just keep the rhythm on the side. And then if I want to, I can play the strings. Okay, ready for step one. Take your box, decide which side you want to face out. Then you're going to take your circular shapes from around your house. I have some tins and a water bottle cap. And you decide which size you think looks the best. I like this water bottle cap the best, so I set it on my box. Take your pen, hold it in place, and you just draw a circle all around the outside. We need to cut out this circle. You can use scissors by poking a hole with the scissors and then cutting the circle. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. It goes a little bit quicker, but you will definitely need an adult to help you out. Go along the line that you've drawn on the box, and once you go around once to score it, you go back and you can start to cut the box. You do this all the way around the circle. Now we need to close up the top of our box. You can use your hot glue gun and just put a little dab of glue on each side there. You can also do this with regular masking tape or scotch tape if you don't have a hot glue gun. And there you go, the top of the box is ready for the neck. All cellos, guitars, banjos, violins, all of those types of instruments have a neck that attaches to the body. We're gonna use a paper towel roll. Again, I'm gonna take my pen that I used earlier. I'm going to draw a line on one side. Then I will draw a line on the exact opposite side. So I have one on the bottom, one on the top, and then I'm gonna draw a line on the side and the side over here. Then you simply take your scissors and you cut along each line. Each line is about one inch long. Once you've made all four cuts on your paper towel roll, you simply bend up each section. Some of them will snap back down and that's quite all right. There you go, you have the neck of your instrument. Stand up your box and you take one of your little sections and you just hot glue on there. And then I'm just going to set it right on top of the box, hold it in place for a few seconds, hot glue dries in a really quick amount of time, which makes it quite simple. Then you're gonna glue the other side. So you take your hot glue, put it on, and press it down. Hold it in place and it's ready to go. I'm gonna do this on all of the flaps around my neck of my instrument. Remember, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can always do this with masking tape. I made one earlier with masking tape and it looked great. All right, now that you have finally put the neck on your body of your instrument, you can paint it any color you want, and you might have to do a few coats because there's a lot of words on the boxes. String instruments have strings in order to make the sound, and the string on those instruments vibrates to make that sound. And that's what we're gonna do with our instruments, but we don't have strings, we're gonna use our rubber bands instead. So once it's stretched across your instrument and you pluck that rubber band, you can hear it vibrate, you can see it vibrate, just like on a real stringed instrument. What if I put my hand into a claw? I wonder that? what that would do. Try it! No. Grab your rubber bands, and we are going to stretch them across the box from the top. All the way to the bottom of the box. Be careful because they might snap back. This is a big stretch to make. 
and take another one. You can use as many rubber bands as you want. So I'm using four rubber bands. If you wanted to make a guitar, you'd need to do six rubber bands. You stretch them across so that they're evenly spaced and they all make some great noises. And then you can rock out on your awesome banjo. Check out this footage of some of my awesome friends playing their homemade banjos. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at that sounds really great. Oh, I like how you put one up here. That's a different sound you can make. That makes the sound. Yeah, sure. Six, six banjo strings. So there you have it. That's how you make your very own homemade string instrument. Remember, you can make a banjo, a guitar, violin, anything you want.